hello hatchlings and merry meet, for you are in for a delightful treat. For I have something that'll make you scream. Welcome to 31 Days of Vlogoween. Hey, this is Dragonfeather, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's Vlogoween episode, I wanted to talk about my New Year's goals. And why do I want to talk about my New Year's goals at the end of October? Well, it's actually considered the Witch's New Year. Yes, Samhain is considered the Witch's New Year. More specifically, the Celtic New Year. But just to share a little bit of history with you guys, I, I have my notes. Samhain dates back to the ancient Celts who lived 2,000 years ago. Contrary to what some believe, it's not a celebration of a Celtic god of the dead. Instead, it is a Celtic word meaning summer's end. The Celts believe that the summer came to an end on October 31st and the new year began on November 1st with the start of winter. The Celts also followed a lunar calendar and their celebrations began at sunset the night before. That was some really interesting like just Samhain facts I found. I'm down below to the website if you guys want to check it out because there's a lot of interesting stuff on that website. I wanted to talk about my new resolutions and I have three resolutions for myself. Why do I have three resolutions for myself? Because I kind of believe in the rule of three and three is a powerful number and it's very balanced so I'm I kind of felt like three was a good good number to have. It wasn't too little and it wasn't too much and I felt like I could achieve it. My first New Year's resolution goal is I want to dedicate more time to becoming a priestess. Like ever since I've dabbed into witch Wicca and witchcraft, I've always wanted to become a high priestess one time in my life and um, I feel like a big part of, um, like a big goal for me to achieve in order to get there would be like finishing my year in a day video series. And like I know that I kind of put that on pause, but I kind of put that on pause for many reasons. Like so much was going on in my life at that time and I really just needed to live life rather than help teach others how to live their life is kind of how I looked at it. Now that I'm better and I'm in a better place and I have better better equipment and I have like better software, like I really want to like finish that. There's this thing called the Witch's Pyramid and it's kind of like a set of actions or like a set of guidelines to follow when you practice your path and it's four things to do and the first one to do is to know is to know about your practice to know about it to know everything as much as you possibly can find out and discover on your own or learn from others second one is to will and to decide that it's going to happen to set the ball in motion if you will and to really start thinking about it and talking about it and what do you want to do like with this practice with this knowledge that you've acquired and so most people take a year and a day journey to do that it brings me to the next part of the witch's pyramid which is to dare and I really want to start daring to do things more and I really want to cast different kinds of spells and, and experiment with my knowledge because I know so much now with all of that I've practiced and then eventually it'll lead me to being silent and who knows what that means? Maybe I'll stop, maybe I won't stop, maybe I'll die. Who knows? We don't know. But something will happen. Something that's like really been inspiring to me is that like my YouTube channel started as like my online book of shadows. Like it wasn't like for anybody else. It was just for me because I knew I had something to say too and I wanted to document my experience. And I also wanted to kind of see if witchcraft was real and like where this life and this journey would take me on. And that's kind of what I, why I started making videos was to help remind myself of the things that I believed in. And all of you guys, all little hatchlings started following and it's like become this incredible journey that I've been on and it's like I want I want to do something incredible with with this experience and so I feel like being a high priestess would like really really take the cake for me like I really want to get there like life goal another thing that I want to do this year is I really want to release my first album like I really want to put my my music out there and like really show you guys what I can do because I know that I've showed you guys like you know my singer songwriter portion of like what I can do but I want to show you guys like a legitimate professionally recorded album like I wanna I want to make music and it's I'm so passionate about sharing my stories through my music and sharing my magic through my music like I just it's literally my life <laughs> And the last one is I want to learn how to take better care of myself. Like, my whole life I haven't really taken care of myself the best and I haven't had the best health habits and I haven't, I've done some things that have like not been good for me probably and I get sick a lot and I don't want to be like that anymore and I want to be as healthy as possible because living a health life in my eyes is living a rich life and I just want to be healthy and feel healthy and feel natural. Like I don't want to feel like processed and 
bleh, you know what I mean? I don't want to feel heavy or anything like that. I don't want any of that on my back, if that makes any sense. And I just kind of want to really learn how to care for myself and really learn how to make my life as beautiful as possible. And of course I want to share it with you guys. Like, of course I want to show you guys like how to make things naturally and like, I just want to pursue that and I feel like that would be a great like step for myself is like loving myself too like I'll really feel like I love myself and as soon as I've started to like actually take care of myself and like even the simplest things is like showering every day I know how like silly that sounds guys but showering every day and like brushing your teeth every day and keeping your room clean and making sure that you're just your area is clean and you have everything that you need where it needs to be and you'll be totally happy like that's kind of my little like New Year's goal, New Year's resolution kind of video that I wanted to share with you guys and I'd love to hear your guys' New Year's, re New Year's resolutions if you want to leave them in the comment section below or make a video response if that's even still a thing on YouTube. YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But until next time, stay geeky cheeky and freaky little hatchlings. Blessed be and bye. We'll see you back next time for your deadly dose of dragon venom. It will be a spooktacular crime staying geeky, cheeky, and freaky together.